Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another Plugside chat. Now this might seem ironic, but I wanted to bring it up because it's something that I've been concerned with for a while now and I think we're actually already starting to see it. And that is that as we see more DC fast chargers deployed, more public fast chargers available, we're actually going to have a harder time accessing those chargers, at least up to a certain point. And this is why I say it's ironic. At this point, we still have very few non-Tesla EVs that can travel more than 200 miles on a charge. And that really does seem to limit the number of people who do want to travel. When I first got my Bolt EV, it was usually very easy to find and access any of the public fast chargers that were available, even in sites that only had one charger per site. Uh, outside of the cities, I rarely saw anybody at these sort of remote DC fast charging sites. However, as time went on, I would start to see more and more vehicles like the Bolt EV, and then later on things like the 150 mile Nissan Leaf, it was more common to see those vehicles 100 to 150 miles out from you know major metropolitan areas and so i had to start limiting the number of times i was using a single dc fast charging site as you know my primary connection i had to start uh, prioritizing sites with two chargers and unfortunately for the public charging infrastructure for the most part, the charging sites do average about two chargers per site. Now, the distribution is fine, but still, when you only have one to two chargers per location, it, it's really common to arrive and have both chargers being used. In fact, on numerous occasions at this point, I've seen three, four electric vehicles at sites with only to DC fast charging ports. But luckily, most of the public charging providers now seem to be moving forward with more than two chargers per site. So a lot of the CEC or California Energy Commission grant fund sites that we see going in, they're adding three to four chargers per site. So ChargePoint along Interstate 5 is adding three chargers per site. It looks like EVGO, who is covering the uh, Northern California State Route 99 and Interstate 5 between Sacramento and Red Bluff, it looks like their charging sites are going to be three chargers uh, per location. You know, I featured a couple sites like the ChargePoint site out on uh, in Baker, California that has four units per site. And that's all well and good, but that's still actually not that many chargers. And as I was coming back from Baker, uh, three of the chargers at the uh, Baker uh, EVGO site were down. But when I was there, there were actually three vehicles charging, including myself. And another, it was a Volt owner, but they had come with the intent of plugging in, but there's no level two there. So really you could say there were four electric vehicles that showed up. Now, one of them wouldn't have been able to charge either way, but they could have just as easily have been a Bolt EV owner. Uh, and so now you're looking at four vehicles showing up at the same time, looking to charge. Now, under normal circumstances, the Baker site would have six chargers up, but in this case, it only had three, but still that's basically maxing out capacity. Someone else on PlugShare posted that when they visited that Kalinga charge point that I had reviewed earlier, that they arrived and they were the third electric vehicle to show up and hook up. So already we're seeing on these higher priority routes, uh, like Interstate 5, those charge point chargers that are going in with three units, they're already during, it seems like peak travel times, going to be full and a lot of ev goes charging sites now are somewhere between you know four and ten units but along the highways most of them are only four four units so i think there's going to be a situation where as we see more bolt evs sold as we see more nissan leaf e pluses sold the uh, hyundai kona electric 
the Kia Nero EV, the Soul EV, a lot of these longer range electric vehicles, as they start to become available, people are going to want to travel with them. They have 200 more miles of range. They're typically replacing internal combustion engine vehicles, and they're going to be an all around vehicle used for travel. Well, the problem is, though, if everybody starts doing that, you're going to run into the same problems that we see even Tesla facing, even with their multi-unit sites, their 20, 30, 40 stall sites along routes like Interstate 5 during peak travel times, you are seeing a waiting line to actually access and use those chargers. Like I said, it seems sort of ironic, but it's something to look out for. The result of adding more chargers might have an actual inverse relationship with how easy and convenient it is to travel. Essentially, the more people that are traveling, the more people with your mindset of, I'm going to get out and move around and travel in my EV, the more likely it is that these public charging networks are going to be overtaxed, especially during peak travel hours. So I think it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, and while we are adding chargers at a fairly fast rate, it's important to remember that when you're traveling, it's going to be more and more likely that even at these multi-charger sites, you're going to see more people trying to use them. And it's actually for that reason where in California, I'll probably continue to use Highway 99 instead of Interstate 5 because I'm not going to the Bay Area there's only about a four mile difference between the two freeways. And there are literally dozens of charging points between Los Angeles and Sacramento along Highway 99, as opposed to the four or five maybe that we're going to see on Interstate 5. Now, the ones on Interstate 5 will have more chargers per location, but they're going to have worse distribution than at, uh, Highway 99. And they're going to probably have a lot more traffic in terms of EVs traveling between the Bay Area and Los Angeles. Let me know what your experiences are. Have you started to notice that the chargers are getting more and more crowded and that even at charging sites with more than two chargers per location, you're seeing multiple vehicles arriving at the same time to charge up? How many chargers do you think is the ideal per site location. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and thank you for watching.